Let's make a citrus peel vinegar cleaner. Hey everyone, this is Judy from Happy Holistics and today we're going to be doing a citrus peel infused vinegar. So as a young child, my mom used to clean with vinegar all the time, but I hate the smell. It smelled sour and even though it dissipated fairly quickly, I still didn't really like it and I actually preferred conventional products to vinegar. Fast forward a couple years later when I started getting headaches, probably from inhaling all of those cleaning fumes as well as some other factors and I also started getting some skin irritations so I knew I had to make the switch. True story, a couple of months ago my dishwashing gloves got punctured so I decided to go gloveless. A couple of weeks of that and I ended up with a couple of patches of eczema on my left hand. I am back to using gloves, but it is taking a little bit of time for the eczema to go away. So while I'm not going to go into a tirade about how awful conventional products are, I will say that natural products do seem to work better for my body. So here's how I make a citrus infusion with vinegar. You'll need citrus peels. I use mostly orange peels because I made some orange juice, some white vinegar, and a large glass jar. Fill a jar with citrus peels and cover it with vinegar. If you simply don't have this many peels all at once, you can always add to this jar every time you eat a citrus fruit. Just make sure to top it off with more vinegar. You'll close the lid and leave it to steep for at least a week. I usually remove the peels once they've changed colors. Here I'm just giving the peels a squeeze in order to remove any vinegar that they might have soaked up. Then I pour the liquid into a vinegar container or spray bottle, compost the peels, and often do it all over again. Here's what I use it for. Cleaning surfaces like my desk and my windows. Washing the underarms with vinegar every day, leaving it on for about 5 minutes and then rinsing it with clean water will deodorize your pits naturally over time so you won't have to wear deodorants. You can use this vinegar as a fabric softener for your darker colored clothing. Just make sure you use pure white vinegar for your whites and light colored clothing because this one will stain. Good news is that the staining will wash out at the next cycle, but you don't want to walk around with stained clothes. My darker clothes don't show any stains at all. I spray vinegar and sprinkle a bit of salt into my kitchen sink and scrub until clean and shiny before I do the dishes. This method also works well with scrubbing the bottoms of pans if they have a lot of crud on them. I wash my actual dishes and pans with dish soap. Lastly, I also use vinegar to remove coffee and tea stains from ceramic mugs. Just pour some vinegar in there, add water until it fills the mug, and then let it sit. Wash it like normal the next day and it'll sparkle. The amount of vinegar you use will depend on how much staining there is. So I checked out how vinegar fared in terms of antimicrobial properties and one study that I found suggested that vinegar is only effective in killing some types of bacteria and some types of microbes. So their conclusion was to use conventional products because they're more effective at killing more things. The conclusion that I drew from this is that vinegar can be used in certain situations but in other circumstances you should probably not use it as a standalone defense. I've linked the study below so that you can read it yourself and make up your own mind. So my general rule is that if it involves something in the kitchen, for example, dining room table, the counter where I'm preparing food on, or a plate, I'm going to be cleaning those with traditional soap and water and giving it a good thorough rinse with fresh water. If it's something that's not related to food or something that I'm going to be putting in my mouth, for example, office equipment or office surfaces, clothes, I'm going to be using vinegar with no problem. If you enjoyed watching this video or found that the information was helpful, please remember to share this video with a friend and subscribe to my channel. I will see you next week.